good morning friends <clears throat> or good afternoon friends Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live of course today is uh, it is August the 11th 2024 and uh, Hezbollah has responded for the killing of the Hamas leader there in Lebanon uh, they have struck the base the Israeli uh, air base or not air base but Israeli uh, military base deep within side uh, as you can see, the Iron Dome did not uh, stop these drones that they sent in. Uh, these were one-way drones loaded with explosives, uh, and they have, over the last, uh, I don't know if it's 12 hours or 24 hours, they claim that uh, they launched these strikes. The Iron Dome, though, again, was not successful in knocking down uh, these strikes there. Uh, that, that they launched against the Israeli military base inside of there. Now that's just Hezbollah responding and responding with such precision, precision uh, with their attacks inside the country there that it is no doubt, uh, as you can see from the billowing smoke coming up off the ground there, that I am sure Israeli authorities are very concerned about the, the achievement of a base that is uh, I think it's 11 miles from the Lebanon border. And, uh, you know, so very, very, very uh, troubling for Israel to see that they have this type of technology, this type of capability. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the different uh, uh, rockets going off there, going towards Israel, the Iron Dome knocking out a lot of those rockets that came in. This was, uh, they did, as, as it says here on the Golan Heights News there, 24 hour period there there were nine attacks that were carried out during that particular time frame there and uh and again the drones that came in many of them were not stopped at all they hit their targets on an israeli military base inside of israel there so we wanted to bring that up to date there if hezbollah hit that soon there i can imagine it won't be long before iran does their strike uh, i have been getting some reports though that iran uh, has agreed not to strike if Israel does a ceasefire on Gaza. So that really remains to be seen whether or not uh, Israel was, is willing to do a ceasefire with Gaza. And uh, so we just don't know the answer to that as of yet there. Uh, anyway, for also for our friends too that are listening here, uh, tonight, uh, we're moving our Zoom meeting for LifeWave. That'll be moved from 8 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. today. Uh, we got some issues that came up, but we want to make sure we're doing that meeting with you guys. Uh, it is our Zoom meeting there. So let me just quickly show you Zoom. This will kind of help you guys out a little bit easier. There it is right there, x39hub, www.x39hub.com is the uh what you go to to be able to get to that meeting so just uh you know let me just see if i were to click on it there just so you can see it in the um well, it doesn't do it like that never mind i'd have to start the meeting to be able to show it to you the proper way there but it's x39 hub hub.com those of you that want to join us for lifeway 3 30 p.m eastern today uh yana will be with me and uh so we want you to be able to be a part of that. Those that need to learn more, it's going to be a 45 minute meeting. We're kind of limited on time. So uh, she'll be sharing that with you. I'll be uh, doing a little bit more, hopefully later this evening as well, though. Uh, I'm working on a different teaching there. I've got some of my Hebraic books out here so I can do some deep studying. There's something I ran into, uh, a, a meeting that I posted on Patreon on Psalm 83, I think you'll find that very interesting if you want to check it out on Patreon. Uh, it's not quite what people think. And uh, what really kind of caught my attention, and this is what I'm researching even deeper today, is that the, uh, the Psalm 83 from the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's got enough significant change in the wording that it might cause you to look at some things differently. So I think you might want to take a look at that. Anyway, that's patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. So don't forget tonight, though. What do we say? I'll put it here on the screen for you so you can see it. www.x39hub.com, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, our 8 p.m. Eastern Zoom meeting we have for LifeWave will be today at 3.30 p.m. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.